Long live South Bank! <laughs> The oldest skate spot in London has been on the Thames Bank for more than 40 years, when the Californian sport was first imported in the UK. What it is known as Undercroft is now under threat. New shops and restaurants are to replace the concrete surfing place. You know, I've grown up here, so it's you know, spent most of my youth here and my adult life, so it's very sad to think that they'd take it away for the sake of money. Last year, UK's largest art centre, South Bank, announced the plans of redeveloping the riverside. Roof gardens, new exhibition places and the refurbishment of Queen Elizabeth Hall. An investment of £120 million at the cost of relocating the skating place. So for me to think that an arts, uh, an arts and cultural centre can only progress by filling all its spaces by retail units. I can't believe that's just the only answer. I believe it was a answer uh, and what time has shown is that it's probably the, well it's not probably, it's definitely the most unpopular uh, proposition in recent times. How unpopular? 70,000 people signed the petition to keep the undercroft from being moved to make way for new restaurants. Basically, I think it's an amazing bit of culture and it should stay. We're going to the National Film Theatre, but we're coming here to see what's different today. I think the people's voice should be heard. It's important that public spaces are kept public spaces. Who needs more shops and cafes in an area like this? It's ridiculous. Last year in May, skateboarders started the Long Live South Bank campaign. In the beginning, there were only a dozen of supporters then turn into hundreds and thousands. Christian Jury is one of them. Gathering signatures became a full-time job for him, although the Austrian never skated in his whole life. It's more than just about skateboarding, although skateboarding is a central thing. It is also about public spaces, it's about heritage, it's about culture, it's about free art, I think, in the end. You don't really have to convince much in the most cases. It's really everyone realizes what's at stake here. Kick turns, flip tricks, slides. Trick after trick, 24 7. Max, one of the campaigners, grew skating in the Undercroft. I used to come here when I was 12 years old just, just to skate here. My father took this picture of me. That's me round about the generations and generations of people that have all skated and looked after each other. There was nothing here. In the back in the days, there was there was no coffee shops. There was nothing. In the mid 70s, Thames Bank attracted nothing like the two million tourists of today. The only visitors back then were the homeless and skaters. One of them was Mark Gonzalez. In the 80s he invented on the Thames the worldwide famous The Cons Gap. Up. There it is. Yeah. Today he supports the campaign. I think a shopping area is fine but I think that it would be nice if they could kind of uh, make it where you know where the two could meet you know where it's not totally for uh, tourists and where it's not totally for skateboarders. But South Bank Center had other plans for the skating spot. Relocation. Not far, 120 meters away under the Hungerford Bridge. The deal? A reconstitution of the undercroft on a larger place and one million pounds to spend on angled banks, slopes and ramps. Jason, one of the skaters, showed us the way. It's dark, it's dismal. It's just in a poor place in comparison to this. The, the designs that were penned up 
don't really look anything as appetizing to skate as this because it's covered with pigeons. It has, five tra it has trains coming every five minutes in the bridge overhead. This place in particular is so special in terms of what it's given to skateboarding, the types of tricks that were invented here. It's irreplaceable in that way. Like it's uncomparable to any other place. Six months after the first consultations between South Bank Center and skateboarders, still no deal. In the meantime, 26,000 signatures were handed to the Lambeth Council. One of them made a difference. It was the mayor's. There are uh, people of high profile, so you've got the Mayor of London, who's been very clear about preserving this space and understanding its cultural impact and its uh, benefits to tourism. It's so important to people, and I think that that it wasn't recognised before was a shame. That it isn't recognised now is a real travesty. A few days ago, South Bank Centre announced dropping the plans for the new festival wing, but it all comes with a price. We are currently looking for alternative means of funding the refurbishment. If we cannot carry out refurbishments, there is a danger that some of these buildings may have to close in the future. For now, the campaign Long Live South Bank did the trick. Jason and Louis will keep rolling on the slopes of the undercroft. For how long? The future is still uncertain, but they live to skate another day. Once more.